video is brought to you in association with Craft Beautiful, the UK's favourite crafting magazine. For exclusive subscription offers, visit www.craftyclub.net. Hi there, I'm Emma Ward, and I'm pleased to welcome you to our latest instalment of our jewellery making series. I'm joined today by Corinne Brad, who's going to be showing us how to make decorative eye pins. So Corinne, what do we need to do to get started? What you need to do is you need um, a knife length of eye pin, then mm -hmm. you're going to silver plated eye pins. Use yep. a good quality eye pin when you're making jewellery. Um, it doesn't have to be the best unless you're making it as a gift, but to practice on you do get better results from mm -hmm. a better quality. Um, what I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how to make, is at the end of these eye pins here, um, instead of using a head pin and creating an eye at the top of it yep. to fix it to a charm, start with the eye pin and create a decorative end mm. that looks part of the jewellery, makes it look quite attractive. Yeah. So I've got a long eye pin here, I'd say this is about two inches or five um, centimetres long. Thread it with some beads, let's have some purples and pinks. These are Swarovski crystal that I'm using, Yeah. which, because uh, it's always very nice for a bit of bling. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just thread on a couple of beads. I would um, recommend that you end up with a chunky bead at the end of it. Yeah. Okay. So you've filled about half the length of your eye pin with beads. Mm -hmm. Use your fingernail, fingernail? thumbnail, mm -hmm. to bend that over at 90 degrees. Right, okay. okay. Take a pair of round nose pliers and starting at the very end, get it to the tip, as close to the tip of the pliers as you can without it slipping out, yep. and bend it around. Keep bending it mm -hmm. until you've got one entire loop. Yeah. And then change to a pair of flat nose pliers. Hold that loop in the flat nose and yeah. continue bending round. So what you're doing is you're creating a spiral, yeah. but it stays nice and flat and it doesn't turn up into a, you know, into an odd shape. Mm -hmm. You will notice that that's not actually now in the right placement for that bend, but we can alter that in a minute. Yeah. Just keep bending it, keep it nice and tight without it overlapping and then bend your bead into it, make that last bend and bend it back. So what you've got is a pretty finial end. Fantastic. And then as I say they can be used on things like bracelets and bag charms. Mm -hmm. Always make sure though that you <coughs> keep it flat and you make that first spiral as small as possible so it doesn't yep. catch on your clothing. Brilliant. Um, very simple. Thanks for that Corin. Okay. Well that's all the time we've got for today but make sure you tune in next time for the latest instalment of our jewellery making series brought to you by the Crafts Channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.